restored in Lakeville. I've taken you in here before. It seems a little emptier than I remember it. I think there used to be more furniture. These candlestick holders. Oh, okay. They're kind of neat. That's not bad. Dollar eighty nine. These are one eighty nine a set. That's not bad. Kate found something. Show us. Super cute. It's crocheted. Very adorable. It's a neat shaped bowl for $3.89. What is the price there? $30.89. That's a very large print, but I'm still just a print. Ooh, I like this. I got it. I need two hands. Okay, this is Target. $7.89. It's not bad. It's really big. I don't know if you can tell. Scale. That's cute. 49 for the set. Oh, I think I've had a plate or two like this. I think maybe in my strawberry stuff. A little depression glass. 189. Those are pretty. If they had two of these, I would buy them. They are lovely. That's lovely. But there's only one. It's kind of fun. Sixteen, fifteen, well, sixteen eighty nine and fifteen. This is cute. Adorable little teapot frame, I like that. Um, of course I have to check the bunny and spring selection. Pretty. Ooh. Eighteen eighty nine. Nope. Of course, I 
have to check the bunny and spring selection. He's pretty. Ooh. 1889. Nope. I like how they have their linens displayed. Their prices are high. But I like how they have them displayed. Makes it easy to shop. Hankies and doilies, $1.89 each. That's a clever display too. And they're all iron. Good job. This is nice. We are in Goodwill in, what town are we in? Apple Valley, Minnesota. Are these egg cups, you think? It's cute. Hey, it's probably in someone's kitchen. Funny, funny. It's kind of curious, kind of fun, quirky. Angel band. Those are cute. Why did I put these things in a bag? They're going to get broken. These are adorable. Some of the wings are broken. These are so cute. Oh my gosh. Kate just spotted this. It's a gym shore in July. That's my birth month. Now, she's missing her wings. But... I don't care. She doesn't have to be an angel. I could even, well, or I could do something with the, to create some ring, a w ribbon wings or something. She needs a little cleaning up, but oh my gosh. Good find, Kate. Sorry, angels. This was the shelf for me. <gasps> what? These are so cool. Why do they put these in a bag? They're gonna get destroyed. <sighs> so irritating. I gotta go look a little carefully, more carefully. This is adorable. <laughs> this is Hosef Originals, I think. That music is so loud. I don't even know if you'll be able to hear me. Oh, did she lose? Yeah, she's broken. That's sad. What is this? It's so cute. Oh, seven dollars. No, 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 no. That's adorable. Tumpty Dumpty. Love. deep enough to be useful for me but it is pretty and I feel like it's gonna break if I put it where it was so I'm gonna put it over here these are all very precarious here I'm just do a little clean up
originating in Minnesota. Maybe not this pan, but the idea of a bunt, boont pan. Apparently that's how I'm supposed to say it. It just happened. I found <laughs> the plate to complete my 12. Yay! So it's Makasa, French countryside. If you've watched any of my recent videos, when we had Christmas, I did not have enough plates. And so I've been looking to add, I'd like to actually add like another four, but I'm happy to have 12. And yeah, it's in great shape and it's only $2. I'm so happy, yay! Merchandise, but oh my goodness, these are so cute. Not for five, but I love them. I like the blue flowers and the happy little faces. So adorable. Okay, it's being sold as a vintage bench. This is definitely a pew. That is so cool. We got a pew. If you had a big house, that would be so fun to have in your house. I don't know why, it's just cool. It's a conversation piece. By the way, the price on the pew is 99. 29 for a old sewing machine. Looks like the machine is in here. Pondering for my barn wall. Love this. I don't like that it's autumn, but I do like the birds. Oh, that's so cheap. Kate and I said our goodbyes, and I stopped at one more Goodwill on my way home. one of these and two of these actually I think one is on my table but you can put like little glass pieces or rocks or you know whatever kind of filler you want and then you put a candle in it put in a tray I think it's a really nice simple but pretty and kind of like timeless table decor Let's 
seeing lamps from like $8.99 on the low end to $19.99. Fifteen, nine, quite a range. I really like this, it's pretty. I don't think I want to spend seven dollars on it. I do like it. This could be useful for my space at the pink elephant. Let's see how much it is. Oh, $3. That's coming home. For sure. This is charming. I don't know that they're supposed to look... Yeah, see, these have all unraveled. But it's a really cute little set of drawers keep on your nightstand or your, where you get ready for like jewelry or something. Very cute. Kat says, wow. Kate says <laughs> she's no longer collecting cats that are not colorful. So this does not qualify, but thought I'd show it to you. apple pie dish so I have this one already from my mom look there's another one that's cute chicken pot pie $4.99 is not terrible for that
Hello, you all. I hope you enjoyed my day of thrifting with Kate. So this is part two of that day of thrifting. I put a video up last week, last Sunday. Um, that was part one. So if you haven't seen that, check that out. But yeah, we always have a good time. Oops, sorry if you hear my doggies barking. I don't know what's happening. Chris is here with them. So I'm just going to keep going. Um, before I get started, I just want to ask that you subscribe. If you're not subscribed, that's super helpful to me. And um, today, let's, I'm going to show you my thrift haul. But first, as promised, I am going to show you a little tour of my retail, retail, my resale space. It's at a little shop called The Pink Elephant in Hopkins, Minnesota. And actually this week I happened to be there and I met a person who watches my videos. So hello to you. I didn't ask her permission to say her name, so I won't, but you'll know you're you if you watch this video. Hello. Um, that was nice meeting you there. So um, let's go ahead and check out the tour of my booth space at The Pink Elephant. Okay, I promised you a tour of my booth. So we moved from downstairs to up here like last August and it has been so much better for us to be up here. So what we did was we set up an area for Chris to do comic books. So he sells comic books here. A lot of them are from his collection, but then a lot of them are just ones that he finds when he's out and about. So, and then this area is kind of like the dude area. <laughs> Uh, so all like things related to fishing, hiking, you know, golf, those kinds of things all go here. And then drinkware here. And he's got some figures up there. And then more comic books. We had a case here and nothing was selling out of the case. So we switched it out. We made this just from some plywood and that pegboard. And that's worked much better for us, so that's good. And then this was in one of my old spaces, moved it here, kind of kept it similar. I should, I should change that light orientation. It's supposed to be shining on the shelf a little more, but um, this is like my inexpensive trinket kind of area, like lots of little candle holders, candle dishes, trinket boxes. Um, and then this is the kid corner. I sell a lot of Beanie Babies. I keep them very cheap, but you know, just if a kid's in here and they want something and it's nice to have some inexpensive things. And then we really like this booth because of this back wall. So we like having a place where we can put artwork. I actually got some more artwork at Goodwill, which you'll see in the hall um, that will go up. I'll probably take those two, those two pieces, one, sconce either broke or got lost <laughs> and I only ever had one of those so they're just they've been around too long I'm gonna mark them down and just take them off the wall and put some artwork there and I think that will do better for me and then this is kind of like the kitchen corner whoops walking into things kitchen corner um yeah just some vintage kitcheny things and cookbooks ones that I don't want for my own collection which is not very many <laughs> Um, those are my seconds, like those are my duplicate cookie cutters. I have a huge collection, but those are all the duplicates. And then, yeah. Okay. And then here's like, oh, I had a matching Bergeron, Bergeron, is that he said? Little custard cup. It has gone missing. I don't know what happened to it, but anyway, um, this is kind of like this is like seasonal. So I have first communion things, last supper, some angel things. And then I have underneath like spring and bunny things. And then, yeah, just, this is really pretty. A little dresser tray. Yep. And here I have like mugs and this is kind of like my 70s vibe kind of shelf. And then just some other tchotchkes and collectibles and then here's my this is a new piece we put here recently so i'm really happy with i had this in my house for a while with my plants on it but i think it works really well in here i might flip the two and put the taller item behind the taller shelf behind the lower shelf but i just haven't gotten around to it so yes this is my booth. 
with all the things. And I hope you enjoyed seeing it. Let's get back to my thrift haul. Well, before we go back to the thrift haul, I bumped into this guy on my way down. This is Brad who gave me all that fabulous stuff. Hello, and I'm sort of twisting his arm to be in my video, but thank you, Brad. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know you you probably saw a lot of the treasures that you've seen me show here. So I'm not lying when I say I am going to resell things. That's where they go. <laughs> and I know some of you have asked, like, why don't you sell on your videos and ship and it's just i i really don't like to ship things on occasion i will do it um but i really don't it's difficult for me to get done okay so yes that was super fun good to show you that it was super fun to see brad there that day because i know you've seen lots of the treasures he's given me so that's um yeah nice for you to be able to put a face to the name so um, I'm drinking out of my salt and straw mug, which I thrifted. Oh, I spilled a little on it. Sorry, but this I thrifted a few weeks ago. And salt and straw is an ice cream place that I went to with my nieces um, when we were out in California. And then we came back here to Minnesota and I found a souvenir mug here. So that's cool. I'm sure there's other salt and straws. So this isn't necessarily the one in California, but it's cool to have a mug that says it because that was a nice memory. And I found it like the week after we got back, which is really funny. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I'm just trying to organize myself. All right. We'll start with this. I don't think this was in the footage. I found this at the very end. It was on a St. Patrick's Day display. Happy St. Patrick's Day, by the way. Today is St. Patrick's Day. Um, you're going to see this tonight. I'm filming it in the morning. I'm just a little behind this week. Usually I try to film a few days ahead at least, but that did not happen this week. So anyway, um, hello. <laughs> Happy, happy Father's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm losing it. Okay, so I saw this at the very end. Didn't get to put it out this year, but that's okay. I'll put it away for next year. It was only $2.99, which I thought was really great. So yay for Goodwill for having some good prices. Then I also got this. And I know last week, everyone was very upset. I did not get a picture by an artist, Billy Jacobs. Now I know who Billy Jacobs is. Thank you very much. I didn't know who that was. So I looked him up. And I actually looked back at my video to see what I missed and I see it was a stone house, but I probably wouldn't have gotten it. I mean, I did look at it and I liked it, which is why I showed it in the video, but the, I have very little wall space. And so I have a wall that's called my barn art wall. And so that's why I'm very particular about what I buy for that wall. Cause it's getting a little full, but I thought this was really nice. I like the fence. I like the shadows of the fence and the little bit of snow. I mean, it's just very Minnesota. That's like our Minnesota spring for sure. That's what it looks like. So um, this will go on my barn wall. If I get it hung before I finish editing, I will insert a picture. And it was originally, wherever it was sold was $8.95, but I got it for $2.99 at Goodwill. So that was good. So yes, two little pieces of artwork. And then let's see, I got um, a book, which Kate recommended. And she said, it's funny and I love humor books. So I'm looking forward to reading this. Jennifer Wiener, Certain Girls. So I can't tell you anything else about it. Kate, if you watch this and anyone asks, you can uh, give them some info about the book. She just told me that it's funny and that I should read it. It's like, very cool. And then this was probably my most exciting find of the day. <laughs> I finally found a Mikasa. French countryside plate just in time for my Easter dinner. So I actually think I won't need 12. For some reason, I must have broken one or something. I actually would like to have like 14. So I am still looking. Um, you know, you always want a few extra. We rarely go above that number. I mean, eventually somewhere down the road we will. We'll have more family members. But even for Easter, I think um, it will just be eight of us. So I'll be fine with the plates that I have. But... I'm really happy to have this because at, I think it was Thanksgiving, we had like 13, 12 or 13, and it was, I didn't have enough plates. I had to, I intermixed some other things that I had, but I would like to be able to not have to do that. I mean, it's fine if you want to do that, but I had to do it because I just didn't have enough. So, so yeah, and it was only $1.99 and I'm just noticing it was 67 degrees a few days ago. I actually filmed my haul for next week out on my deck. And now it's snowing. I'm seeing snowflakes out my craft room window. <laughs> so 
So yes, that was very exciting. Okay, and then, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> allergies have been terrible because this is like the winter that wasn't. It never really got that cold, so nothing froze. So there's been pollen all winter. Um, okay, then I found what I think was probably someone's angel collection. And I just adore these. I got the two bags that you might have seen. And I haven't gone through them yet. So we'll do that together. Um, I could, just couldn't leave them. I was like, if I leave these here, they're going to get broken. And I didn't. I love little figurines and angels. And some of them are like German. Some are like Japan. So they're definitely cool and old. And I've decided where I'm going to put them. I have a little shelf in my bedroom. Again, if I get this done today, which may or may not happen. Um, or at least some of them might happen. I might, I might be able to insert some footage. I have a little shelf where I was keeping my creamer collection. I have moved that and um, I'm going to put the angels in there because I don't know, I just, it'll be nice to have near my bed. Um, you know, I just really like angels. So, all right. So the really cool one that I found, her wings are broken. And actually Kate spotted this on the shelf. I was looking at something else and didn't even see it, but it's a Jim Shore angel with broken wings, but that's fine. But she has brown hair, just like me, and you can see her little ruby, and she, cause she's July, which is so cool, cause that's my birth month. So this was like a perfect find. So I'm okay that she um, doesn't have wings. I could put maybe some ribbon on her to put wings on something, I don't know. But I'm not too worried about it. She's just pretty, even as she is. Okay, and then here's the first bag. This is the one I was really worried was going to break. This was $5 for the bag, and I got five angels. So I'm like, you know what? It's a dollar a piece for things that have been around since probably the 40s. That would be my guess. And, um, yeah, I didn't want them to get trashed. And some of them are, their wings are broken, but that's fine. That's always the case when we find angels. Like, it's really hard to find ones that have intact wings because, you know, there's these little things that kind of hang off the backs of them. Some of these do still have their wings, but um, a lot of times wings will break. So this one, this first bag is an angel band. So I'll just show them to you one by one. And you can see they're marked Japan. Hopefully it's focusing for you. I can't tell. So this one has like a cello. Um, I think that's what that is. And this, this one has also broken wings. She has an accordion. And then this one, I don't know. I forget what, is this a mandolin? I don't know. You can tell me in the comments. What kind of instrument is that? And this one has its wings. And they all have that same Japan stamp on them. This one's a violin, I think. With wings. And a little horn. So that was the first bag. Love, love, love. And then, I can't remember if this was in the footage or not. You'll know better than me, because again, I haven't looked at the footage again. Um, I found this whole bag, which I see, and that's why I think probably someone donated their whole collection. This was also $4.99, but this has way more, and some of them are broken, but I think the one that's really broken, both pieces are in here, so. But some of them amazingly aren't broken, which is just a real shocker. So I can't tell where this one's from. My guess would be like Austria or, um, oh gosh, I can't. There, yeah, it says made in. And then it's like worn off. So I'll show you the stamp. It could be Germany. That's the stamp. That's all that's left of it. So if you recognize that mark, let me know. But she is just beautiful. These are like hand painted. She has both her wings. And she's also playing a violin. So I just think these are just so beautiful. It looks like it's possible that one of her wings is repaired, which is fine with me. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> I wasn't even showing it very well. So you can kind of see here a little white there. I mean, if it's repaired, it's a very good job. Um, Yeah, but she's just beautiful. Okay, and then here's another one with her wings intact. 
so ad oh my gosh she's adorable i've never seen one like this oh my gosh she's so cute i love her so much she's like ceramic porcelain something or other made in japan oh just beautiful and she looks like she's gonna sing songs beautiful i love her oh my gosh i love her so much okay and oh did i mention that she has like this little kind of lacy um applique on the bottom of her which is really cool and then i have this tiny baby one she also has her wings but she has pigtails so cute there's her wings she's playing an instrument so that seems to be the theme with this collection this one is marked italy and here's just a plain wooden one i would guess this might be like swedish or sweden or finland a lot of the scandinavian countries like their things are really um less decorated so and it looks like she's holding handbells which is really cool chris used to play handbells when he was a kid in his mother's church choir my mother-in-law is a choir leader and she also was a handbell director okay then this one looks very mid-century. Oh boy, her pigtail is wrapped around another angel. Oh no, there we go, okay. So she totally looks mid-century. Look at her metal wings. I mean, they're just all so different. I have not seen this variety. This one is marked made in Western Germany. And Oh, sweet. She's missing a wing. Oh, she has that same symbol. So if we could figure out what this symbol is, then we'll know where these come from. So if anyone recognizes this symbol, let me know, because it's on this one too. On wooden angels, maybe it's a German thing. I don't know. But there she is. She has one wing missing. Very sweet little face. It also looks like maybe... It might be that she was holding something here that's gone. And then another little baby one with pigtails, a blondie, just like that other one, the Italy. This one's not marked, but I'm guessing it is also made in Italy because um, it looks very similar to this one. And this one is marked. Sorry, that was really fast. <laughs> so yeah, so a little blondie one with pigtails. Also wings are intact. She looks like she's gonna sing and this one not marked cool has a metal um halo which is kind of neat different both wings intact and then the one broken one i guess i'm happy oh excuse me my nose is itchy um oh i just found an extra wing yay and the head for this one that is missing is in the bag so i can definitely repair these so you can see her head came off, but I will reattach it. She is also not marked. And then look, ah, where did it go? Oh my gosh, I almost threw it out. Oh boy, I don't watch, I don't watch me. <laughs> okay, here's her wing. So I can repair her too. So yes, that is my fabulous angel collection that I found. I'm so excited about them, hopefully. I can insert footage for you right now. Look, I got them set up. I think they just look so cute. And I got the two that were broken glued. It was this one right there and that. Oh, no, that one. So yay, I love them. Super happy to have them here in my bedroom. I'll see them every morning. So I hope you enjoyed seeing all the treasures that I found. It was a good, good day of thrifting with Kate. Always a good time. And I love the things that I found. So thank you so much for watching my videos. And I will see you in the next one next week. Um, I forget where I went, but I did record the haul already. I can't remember. It'll be a surprise to both of us and to all of us. <laughs> all right. Have a great week and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe. Bye.